Maca's guides. <laughs> hey guys, Maca here with a 100% full game walkthrough for a game called Storm Boy, available in mid-November 2018 for about $5. You'll be able to grab your 1,000 gamer score or your platinum trophy in about 20 to 30 minutes very, very easily, and I'll be showing you how to do that in this video. You'll load up the game, and then you'll want to obviously start a new game. Now, this game is based on a book from the 1960s with the same name. It is a storytelling game where, uh, you know, this little character runs across, kind of side-scrolling style. There's a bunch of little mini-games you'll need to do, and uh, and yeah, you're, you're on your way to your 1000 or your Platinum pretty quickly. So the first level, you'll just walk from left to right. You'll end up at this beach here, and then you'll be able to press A once the dialogue goes through its pace in order to get to level two. Now for level two, what we need to do is we need to run forward, and then you'll kind of run to the background. And whenever there is a kind of little bubble on screen, as you see at the bottom, you can press A to start that mini game. So for this mini game, what we need to do is we need to fly back and forth a total of 15 times. So you're just going to press left and right on the analog stick to switch directions. After switching directions 15 times, you should get um, your achievement or trophy to unlock here. And yes, it really is that simple. You just move left and right. And once you're done, you can press B to back out. That is a 100 gamer score for changing direction 15 times. Now what we want to do is continue walking forward, and you'll notice this fisherman. At the fisherman, you can also press A to do a mini game. And for this mini game, what we'll need to do is pick up these, um, these uh, I think the game calls them cockles. Basically, they're like little seashells or like clams. I believe they're mollusks. Uh, that's a fun word to say. So what you need to do here is just walk around. You tap A on the little bubbles. And when you do that, it kind of digs for them. And when you dig up 20 of them, uh, you'll grab the achievement or trophy called Digger for 50, for 75 gamer score. Uh, you only need about, tw you need 20 exactly. There are probably hundreds of them on the beach here, so you won't really run out. I went all the way to the left here, so we're going to go back uh, to the right now. And uh, yeah, just keep... Keep tapping A on them to dig them up and uh, grab 20. Hopefully you'll be done before you know it. I do like to keep my uh, full game walkthroughs in real time when possible, just so you guys can follow along without having to pause. So hopefully you guys understand why I didn't just edit all this out. So once you get 20, achievement unlocked, you can press B and uh, leave this area now. That's under 75 gamer score. And we can now continue to walk forward, and there will be yet another mini game here where you'll notice, uh, well, there's this penguin, which you'll interact with kind of automatically, not part of the mini game. You'll walk a little bit forward and just past the penguins. Uh, you'll notice coming up right around here. There you go. You'll notice these three little birds. You'll interact with them and pick them up. And then you can walk forward uh, to the right. keep walking with them to the right uh, you can obviously read the dialogue if you want to enjoy the game like I was saying earlier it's actually not that bad of a game in terms of you know in terms of gamer score games it's definitely things that are a lot worse what you need to do for this is first thing we need to do is feed feed all of the fish what you do is you kind of like aim you pick up the fish with the a you aim the direction and then you throw the fish with a to kind of land it in the mouth of the birds. So we just grabbed the left bird. We're going to try to grab this middle bird here. Once he opens his mouth, you got to have to time it a little bit. So we got the middle bird and now we're going to try to get the right bird. Um, this this, this, this uh, right bird is actually one of the hardest, probably surprisingly. Controls aren't great, but once you do feed all three of the birds, you'll get an achievement called fish magnet. Now what we need to do is make all the birds angry. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to feed the left bird. And once I do this, you'll see that the other two birds will start shaking their head in disappointment. So we're going to feed the left bird. And then you can see that eventually here, 
You can see that both the middle and the right bird shook their heads because they were upset. So that means that they're upset. Now we, what we need to do is make the left bird uh, upset. So I'm just going to feed the middle bird over and over and over again until the left bird gets upset. And again, you'll see that he's upset when he shakes his head like that. So once you get all three of the birds to shake their heads like that, um, you get another achievement slash trophy. And then you can press Y in order to proceed. And then for this, all we need to do is walk from left to right. Okay, so for this next level, there are a ton of mini games, a ton of little achievements and trophies to grab along the way. So we'll just walk left to right and pretty much interact with everything. The first thing we can do is go on this boat or raft and tap to get into it. And then what you want to do is just turn until you see some boats off in the distance and then go towards them. You do that all with the directional pad, by the way. And you'll want to approach the very edge of the water here next to all these little markers or the little I think they're like little wooden stakes and once you reach the edge tap Y in order to dive into the water and now every time you tap a he should dive kind of straight down um, this is a little finicky because you kind of have to aim but you're also on the edge of the map so just dive straight down and then once you reach the bottom of the water you should unlock an achievement or trophy for reaching the deepest part of the ocean Perfect. So now as soon as we unlock that, don't dive straight up. Just sit in the water and patiently wait until you run out of breath. When you run out of breath, he will automatically swim up to the top of the water and then you will unlock uh, another achievement or trophy. This can take a little bit of time depending on how long it took you to get to the bottom. So just patiently wait until it unlocks. I will keep the video in real time. There we go. You automatically swam to the top. You can get back on the raft and then press B to exit out of the raft minigame. And then we'll continue forward, or to the right rather. We'll end up on the beach here by the sand. And we can interact with the stick in the sand. And then all we'll need to do is just draw anything you feel like. And then you can press B to back out. And that should unlock another achievement or trophy. You can also, also wash it away with the waves and whatnot and we'll go left to right again until we get to the red ball once we get to the red ball interact with that pick up the ball and then launch it into the ocean uh, and the uh, bird uh, will go and fetch it and bring it back to you you will need to do this a total of three times in order for the achievement to unlock so that's the second throw also, make sure you're holding the like the left stick as far back as possible when you tap A uh, so that it actually goes, you know, deep into the water. If you don't throw it far enough, it doesn't technically count. So there's our third throw. He goes and he grabs it. Dives into the water and brings it back, unlocking our achievement or trophy. Now we can back out of this mini game and move on again, going left to right. The next mini game we can do is this one right here where you ride a piece of cardboard down the sand dunes. You can steer a little bit and whatnot. There's actually no achievement or trophy for this. So you do actually have to use it. But once you kind of start it, just press B to exit out. We need to have it for later. So we have it in our menu, but there's actually no achievement or trophy. And then just move left to right to finish the level. All right, so next we have this level. We're kind of wrapping up the game pretty slowly here, but we're going to walk left to right, obviously. As soon as we can interact with the mini game, we're going to want to do so, which is coming right up here. 
For this mini game, all you need to do is keep the bird in the middle of the screen, and there's kind of winds that are pulling you towards either side. And think about it like you're grinding a rail in Tony Hawk and trying to stay near the middle of the screen. Don't overcompensate too much when possible because it's really easy to get off the side of the screen. But just stay near the middle and once you reach the boat, you'll unlock the achievement or trophy specific to this. So now that we're here, we're going to continue moving left to right. Uh, this game is based on a book, and then that book was turned into a movie in Australia. And in that movie, there was a pelican. And that pelican, just like in the book in the movie, is unfortunately killed. And that is the point of the game we are currently at. So we are going to continue moving left to right. And uh, unfortunately, our little friend here is shot out of the sky by a hunter. And unfortunately, that also means that he dies. And that is pretty much how the game ends. Now, we're not quite done yet. But uh, yeah, this is probably not the best part of the game if you're, if you're actually into it, paying attention and familiar with the story. But once uh, Mr. Percival here is killed... We will become Mr. Percival in a dreamlike angel state. And all we need to do is fly downward and near the middle towards the perch. So you just kind of steer left and right a little bit. You don't actually have to aim downward. He should automatically fly downward. So just aim kind of left and right and make sure you land uh, on the perch here. And once you're close, it should automatically kind of happen. And then you just move from left to right with the character. Once he touches the stick here, that will end the game and unlock our second to last achievement or trophy. And that is the completion of the game. So now the only thing you have left is an achievement for uh, playing through each minigame one time in the Remember menu. So just wait for this little cinematic to finish. Don't press B and back out to the main menu. Just press A to kind of fast forward when it allows you to. And that should bring you back to the main menu. And there should be a new uh, little tab here called Remember. And for our last achievement, all we need to do is replay all nine of the mini games, which are these nine little circles. So just click on each circle and you can just immediately back out. Instead, go to that remember tab and then go through all nine of them. You don't actually have to do anything once you're in them. You literally just have to load them up. And once you load them up, just immediately tap out pressing B to go back to the main menu. And you do this for all nine. So there are that's three. This is going to be number four. Coming up, we're going to do number five. It doesn't really matter what order you do them in either. Whatever order, uh, you know, works best for you. I'm just kind of going in the, the logical order based on how they're laid out in the menu. Uh, if you're wondering, the top four squares there are the uh, kind of chapters of the game. So if you did miss something, which is possible, like, for example, this mini game. Uh, if you screwed it up and you, you can actually skip it in the game, uh, you can come back and replay the chapter in order to successfully complete that. So I think that's seven out of nine. I think this is going to be number eight out of nine. And then last but not least, we have number nine of nine. And as soon as that loads up, boom, achievement slash trophy. Remember... And you should now have your 1,000 out of 1,000. I'm not going to show you it on my screen because I've been playing on kind of multiple accounts. So it, it's kind of confusing. I don't actually have the 1,000 on this account quite yet as recording this. But I do on many profiles outside of this profile. Nonetheless, uh, technicalities and specificities <laughs> aside, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I hope you enjoyed Storm Boy the game based on the book which then spawned a movie, which then spawned a game. Five bucks, 20 minutes of your time, maybe even 15 minutes, and you have your 1,000 out of 1,000 or your platinum trophy on PlayStation. It's always good when the indie games have the platinums. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
an honest special thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show. Without Patreon, these kind of videos, honestly, like, I don't know how feasible they would be in the current YouTube space. Uh, not a lot of people are out there looking for full game walkthroughs of a, you know, 15 minute side scrolling storytelling game. And of the people who are looking for it, not a lot of them are going for achievements or trophies. That's just the reality of the situation. But Patreon allows me to kind of have the freedom and flexibility to make videos like this. Nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if the, if the video was helpful. And hopefully, I'll see you guys in a future video. Peace!